Kurtement is a charming harbour town in central Denmark, with a stunning fjord surrounded by fields, hills and forests. It's a haven for marine wildlife, but this University of Southern Denmark scientists are intrigued by one mysterious species, blooming just beneath the surface of the water. These sea jellies aren't very stingy, but their biomass here is so dense it harms other species. We dive in to collect samples and observe this massive jellyfish bloom. Around the world, jellyfish stink tourists, clog fishing nets and block water pipelines. There are even fears they might replace all other sea species. But Jamile Javidpur, who has been studying jellyfish for over 20 years, says we don't know enough yet to make such predictions. Apocalyptic scenarios of jellyfish bloom are existing and there are partly true stories because the presence of jellyfish might affect the entire ecosystem. However, changes in entire population needs a kind of holistic view. What is the effect of other population that are connected to this player of the food web together. So we need a kind of adaptive view to jellyfish bloom, which is still not existing. Researchers monitor water temperatures, salinity, and other factors to better understand the causes of jellyfish blooms. It appears jellyfish thrive due to overfishing, which removes their predators and competitors, and agricultural runoff that depletes oxygen in the water. Unlike other species, jellyfish aren't bothered by low oxygen levels. While jellyfish blooms can be problematic, researchers believe we can find a sustainable use for this gelatinous plankton. For instance, jellyfish could provide an alternative source of collagen for cosmetics. They are also great at capturing microplastic particles, which can help clean our oceans. Jamile Javidpur coordinated the Go Jelly project, funded by the European Union. It came up with a method to use jellyfish mucus, either natural or synthetic, to filter wastewater before it reaches the ocean. They take up particles very actively and capture these particles and pack them in a biological mucus filter to get rid of them. And then that is a pattern that we can learn from nature to come up with nature solutions. Possible uses for the sea jellies are numerous. Let's move from Denmark to Italy's southern Apulia region. Researchers at the Institute of Scientists of Food Production in Lecce are experimenting with turning jellyfish into plant fertilizer. They start with frozen sea jellies and use vacuum drying to convert them into white powder. Besides salt, this powder contains valuable amino acids, minerals and other nutrients present in jellyfish that can be readily absorbed by plants. Experiments show that plants grow better on jellyfish nutrients compared to a substrate with just salts. Si ha una netta differenza nella crescita delle piante. Questa è più rigogliosa anche rispetto al controllo, comunque paragonabile al controllo, mentre in presenza della stessa concentrazione di sali le piante risultano molto più stressate, quindi più secche. Jellyfish could even help kill diseases. Although still in the very early stages of research, scientists have discovered bioactive compounds in jellyfish that can trigger the death of breast cancer cells in experimental conditions. Gli estratti di queste meduse hanno attività antiproliferativa su colture di cellule umane e in questo modo noi abbiamo visto che effettivamente possono ridurre la proliferazione di cellule cancerose uh, e avere non attività su cellule non cancerose. And since jellyfish often end up in fishing nets, why not eat them? In Asia, this is common practice. This restaurant in Lecce is part of a European project exploring jellyfish as food. Chef Fabiano Viva believes seafood lovers will enjoy cooked jellyfish with its intense marine flavor. Le meduse non sono viste sempre molto bene, no? Perché sono urticanti, fanno male, quindi le persone pensano che possano essere dannose anche per l'organismo. Sfatiamo questo mito. La medusa non è affatto pericolosa, anzi è semplicemente buona. 
This recipe features jellyfish in a traditional Mediterranean seafood soup, but chefs see many other possible ways to cook jellyfish. Questa può essere anche tagliata e messa in un'insalata, per esempio. Con questa si può fare quasi qualunque cosa, si può mettere in una zuppa come abbiamo fatto oggi, può essere ovviamente anche arrostita. Researchers led by Antonella Leon have developed a safe method to preserve jellyfish without using the aluminium salts that are common in Asia but considered harmful in Europe. Instead, they propose using calcium salts, which are safe to eat and preserve the jellyfish's texture better. The researchers teamed up with chefs to make a cookbook with jellyfish recipes, but before jellyfish can be served to the public, they need to be officially approved as food. Quello che è necessario è l'autorizzazione la, eh, dell'autorità europea sulla sicurezza alimentare perché dobbiamo essere sicuri di fornire un prodotto eh, sicuro ai consumatori, semplicemente avere l'accortezza di studiare tutto il processo dalla pesca alla preparazione in modo che sia sostenibile. Sustainability is key. While jellyfish blooms are increasing in seas like the Mediterranean, researchers caution against large-scale fishing of this diverse species. We joined Dr. Leon on a sampling trip in the Gulf of Taranto, home to a beautiful barrel jellyfish population. We still lack knowledge about these gelatinous creatures and their unique life cycles. Surveys and samplings are, however, ongoing in seas around the planet. In the meantime, any jellyfish-derived compounds used by the industry could be synthesized or based on sustainable production methods, such as jellyfish aquaculture. Removing too many jellyfish from our oceans before we fully understand them could put us on a slippery slope. Io spero che si possa continuare a studiare a fondo questi organismi nel loro ambiente e se c'è la possibilità di utilizzare qualche composto che possa essere utile all'uomo, bisogna farlo in maniera sostenibile. The best way to keep marine life healthy is to address the root causes of their problems such as climate change, pollution and overfishing. Jellyfish have been a part of marine ecosystems for the last 500 million years and with proper balance they will keep their rightful place in our ocean's natural harmony.